Sudan and Israel have agreed to move towards normalizing ties during the first official visit uh, by Israeli Foreign Minister to Khartoum. In January 2021, Sudan formally agreed to normalize relations with Israel after U.S. removed it from its list of state sponsors of terrorism. However, Israel-Sudan ties were never formalized. Israel's Foreign Minister Eli Cohen also met Sudan's Army Chief Abdel Fattah al-Burhan. The leaders discussed ways to establish fruitful relations between the two countries and prospects of cooperation in areas including security and energy upon his return from Khartoum. Cohen said that the two countries had agreed to work towards a peace agreement. <laughs> שבמסגרת הביקור סיכמנו לחתום הסכם שלום בין סודן וישראל. סודן היא מדינה ערבית, מוסלמית ואסטרטגית מבחינת מדינת ישראל. ההסכם צפוי להיחתם השנה והוא יהיה הסכם השלום הרביעי של ישראל לאחר הסכמי השלום עם מצרים וירדן. Thursday's talks also touched briefly on achieving stability and peace between Israel and the Palestinians. Sudan, an Arab League member, had for decades maintained a rigid anti-Israel stance. This changed after long-time President Omar al-Bashir was ousted in April 2019 following mass protests against his rule. Khartoum was removed from the U.S. blacklist in December 2020 after 27 years of crippling sanctions which strangled Sudan's economy. In January 2021, Sudan signed a declaration paving way to normalize ties with Israel. In April that year, it approved a bill abolishing a 1958 boycott of the country. Relations were, however, stymied as political turmoil in Sudan deepened following an October 2021 military coup led by Burhan. Israel Foreign Minister Cohen said he expects relations to be formalized by the end of the year, but not before Sudan appoints a civilian government to replace Burhan's caretaker military regime. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.